looking for a loophole. The man asked Jesus, and just how would you define neighbor? And Jesus answered by telling a story. There was once a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, and on the way he was attacked by robbers, and they took his clothes, beat him up, and went off leaving him half dead. Luckily, a priest was on his way down the same road, but when he saw him, he angled across to the other side, the opposite side. Then a Levite, religious man, showed up, and he also avoided the injured man. A Samaritan traveling the road came on him, and when he saw the man's condition, he, well, his heart went out to him. He gave him first aid, disinfecting, bandaging his wounds. Then he lifted him onto his donkey and led him to an inn and made him comfortable. In the morning... He took out two silver coins and gave them uh, to the innkeeper. Take good care of him. If it costs any more, put it on my bill. I'll pay you on my way back. What do you think? Which of the three became a neighbor to the man attacked by robbers? The one who treated him kindly? That one, the religion scholar responded. That one. And Jesus said, okay, go and do the same. Of course, you recognize the story, don't you? We all do. It's from Luke chapter 10. It's verses 29 through 37, the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's possible that those men were afraid, you know. The Jericho Road was a dangerous road. It's a winding, meandering road. It's really conducive for ambush. You start out in Jerusalem, which is about 1,200 feet above sea level. You get down to Jericho, some 15, 20-minute walk, and you're about 22 feet below sea level. So it's a steep, dangerous road. In the days of Jesus, it became known, in fact, as the Bloody Pass. And so you know... um, It's quite possible that the priest and the Levite looked over at that man lying in the ditch and wondered if the robbers were still around. Or it's possible that they felt that the man on the ground was merely faking. He was acting like he had been robbed and hurt in order to lure them over there and then seize them for a quick uh, getaway. Well, so the first question that the priest asked, the first question that the Levite asked was possibly one we're familiar with. If I stop to help this man, what will happen to me? I've said the very same in similar, though not exact, situations. But then the Good Samaritan comes by in the story and he reverses the question. If I do not stop to help this man, what will happen to him? That's the question before a neighbor, before a Christian, before a Christ follower. These words come, thoughts come from Martin Luther King. I hope they'll stick with you and with me. Blessings.